Hello, it's me. Is it straight hair that you've been looking for? Welcome to HSI Professional. I'm Gia Vittoria, and today we're gonna talk about how to use a flat iron. Today I'm gonna be using the Glider Elite, but this video will apply to any model flat iron that you want to use. However, if you would like to curl your hair with the flat iron as well, I recommend that you grab one with flexible plates. So the Glider Elite has a temperature range from 310 to 450. The actual irons themselves can vary, and it's important to use the correct temperature for your hair. If your hair has been treated with color or any type of lightener, you're going to want to use a lower temperature as opposed to a higher temperature. If you have more texture in your hair, you will need to use a higher temperature. If you're not quite sure about what temperature to use, you can refer to this chart. It's very important to protect your hair from any type of heat that you're going to apply to it. This is our Argon Oil Thermal Protector Spray. So I'm going to go through my hair and make sure that I spray everything with this. This will help to prevent any damage in the hair. And this will protect you up to 450 degrees. This is also really great. I use this on days that I don't use any type of hot tool on my hair because it will protect your hair from the sun and the elements as well. So you can also use some sort of oil in your hair. This is our Argon Oil Leave-In Treatment. You can use a little of this before you straighten and you can also use a little bit after. This will help to give your hair a good shine. Now just make sure, I'm only using one pump of this. Make sure not to put too much and you only want to put it in the ends of your hair. If you put it on the top of your head, you're going to end up greasy. It's very important that you wait for the thermal spray to dry before applying the iron to your hair. You can burn your hair if you apply this iron on wet hair. So make sure that the thermal spray is completely dry before you get started. Section my hair and you can section your hair in multiple sections or you can just start with one big section and work section by section. I'm going to start with one section. So I'm sectioning it up and I'm going to leave I'm going to take inch big pieces of sections. So you want the sections to be roughly an inch. The more texture you have in your hair, the smaller of sections you're going to want to take. If your hair is rather straight and you're just flattening it out a little bit more, you can take larger sections. So you're going to want to hold your flat iron in your hand like this. If you want to use your left hand, if you want to use your right hand, either way, hold the flat iron down here at the base, far away from the heat because you don't want to burn yourself. Be very careful when you are ironing near your scalp that you do not touch yourself with the iron because it will be hot on the outside. You can use a comb at your scalp when you go to put the iron close. So we're going to start with a small section of hair. This is about a one inch section. And today I'm using the straightening comb. You can use a brush or you can use a regular comb, but it's good to use something because you don't want to touch the hair while you're straightening it. The hair can get very hot and you can burn yourself by actually touching your hair. So I'm going to put the straightening comb on the hair at the root and then pull it down through and pass the iron over top of the hair. You want to make sure to keep moving the iron down the hair shaft. You do not sit the iron on the hair and leave it there. You can burn your hair. 
So I can also do this with my hairbrush. Taking the hair, putting the brush at the top of the head, sliding it down, and then putting the iron at the top and evenly passing it through the hair. If one pass doesn't straighten out your hair, that's okay. You can pass over your hair multiple times. It is better to pass over quickly and multiple times than to pass over super slow because you can burn your hair that way. So to clean your iron, first make sure that it is completely cool. Sometimes the plates will get a little bit of residue from whatever products you're using, especially if you're using hairspray on your hair first. You're gonna wanna take a nice soft cloth, nothing that will scratch the plates of your iron and get it damp with some warm water. Then you simply rub it over the plates until they're nice and clean. If you still have any sort of residue on the plates, you can use a bit of rubbing alcohol on your cloth. You can also clean the rest of the iron the same way as well. So when storing your iron, HSI comes with this nice little Velcro wrap. You can simply fold your cord, and it's good to keep the cord folded because then it will be easy to fold it every time you go to fold it, the bends are already in the cord. So now that I have it folded up, simply take the Velcro, wrap it around, and it will stick to itself. And then it's ready for storage. Do not bend the bottom of the cord here. If you put any sort of tension on this cord, like if you bend this and wrap it, you can cause this cord to fray. And your iron may stop working if you have the electrical cord too tight or bent in any sort of way. So the best way to store it is to simply wrap the cord and leave this nice and open like that.